Welcome to the Lazy and Lock Steps channel, where in this channel, I use the mini stepper in hopes to get rid of my fupa and actually just get fit. If you saw my last video, I just did an unboxing of the mini stepper. And this video, I'm kind of just gonna run through the first week of me using the mini stepper. I actually just got finished working out and recording some content. So I just figured that since the ring light is on, I might as well just come on here for a quick five to 10 minutes and kind of give the breakdown on my experience with the mini stepper so far. So if you saw my last video, I did get a mini stepper. I bought my mini stepper from Walmart. It was $63, I believe. And um, I was contemplating on getting a mini stepper. Obviously there's so many mini steppers online and you could kind of get overwhelmed looking through all the different ones and just getting so overwhelmed to the point that you don't even know which one to get and you end up not getting one. So I went to Walmart and I saw it and I picked it up. I'm like, I'm just going to try it out. I'm going to use it. I'm going to break it in, see how I like it. And I could always get another one if I feel that the one I have is not really like working for me anymore. So I really like the one that I got from Walmart. And um, I, I wish I had the box in view. But actually, let me get the box for y'all so y'all can see. So this was the mini stepper that I got from Walmart. This is the brand. It's the Athletic Works mini stepper. And it was $63. The maximum capacity on this one is 250 pounds. So if you're over 250, then you might wanna look into a different stepper. But if you're under 250, then it should be fine. Using a mini stepper is great. It has a count. It has a tracker where it tracks your calories. And it also tracks, obviously, the amount of steps you do and the time. So I really like that feature because I use a Fitbit um, anytime I'm doing any active working out, even on a daily basis, because the goal also for me that I have is to get 10,000 steps a day, every day, at least 10,000 steps a day. So that is the minimum I can do. If I want to go above, that's fine, but I have to get a minimum of 10,000 steps. So I always wear the Fitbit except for when I'm sleeping. Even though it's a sleep mode, I don't sleep with the Fitbit. But I really like that the mini stepper has a tracker because it really keeps you focused. Because a lot of times, like when I notice when you first get in on a mini stepper, it's kind of like a learning curve. So you're looking down. But every time you look down and you see those numbers, for me at least, it motivates me and it just makes me want to keep going. So I really like that feature. But so far the mini stepper has been amazing like i'm not even gonna sit here and lie it's been about a week since i've been using it once i did that unboxing i actually used it that night and i made my first everything that night first piece of content it was a learning curve like it was you kind of get a little bit scared because you don't really know your balance but once you break it in it is so like it's a game changer the only thing i could say about this mini stepper that i have is that it does squeak so i had to go ahead and get some wd-40 and put it around the back of the pulley so this is what the mini stepper looks like from walmart it's kind of hot still because of the hydraulics right here and it's, it's warm for sure and i just used it but back here you can see that there's a pulley so i oiled around the pulley wheels and i also oiled under these hydraulic pumps right here and it kind of helped with the squeaking a little bit but if it continues to squeak i might invest in another mini stepper so we're gonna see i'm kind of just gauging it to see how um it changes or you know if it stops squeaking but we'll kind of take it week by week i guess or day by day i've been using it and i haven't did an official weigh-in I went to a nude spa about maybe three weeks ago and I did a complete nude um, weigh-in with no clothes, nothing on, and I was 201. So I see that as my official starting weight because that's the official weight that I took when I like, you know, had no clothes on. So I'm not really scaling or using the scale to gauge my um, progression. I'm really using how I feel intuitively and also how um, my bodily functions move. So like how much am I going to the bathroom? How much am I um, 
both bowel movement and you know urinating and that goes with me being more hydrated another goal that i have is to really drink as much water as possible i do have one of those gallon water jugs but um i'm not gonna say that i've been really good at getting a gallon down but i've been drinking a lot more water since i've invested in that jug just because it's there i don't gotta like unscrew a top or do any of that stuff it's just like it's there i see it it also has like the little measuring gauges throughout the day so that's been really helping me as well but for the most part the first week has been great and i actually went live on my well i didn't go live on my instagram that i made for the channel i went live on my locks instagram page what i'm doing now is i'm not trying to overburden myself i'm trying to take it slow because by nature i am a cardio girl um i ran cross country and track in college um being in the service you always have to be just ready to go cardio doesn't bother me that's not really my problem the problem is that i love cardio so much that i overburn myself out even when i start strength training i don't really have the energy for it because i'm always done with cardio so to incorporate that i invested in some weights i invested in some five pounders just something to kind of get me using a little bit of pressure while i'm on the mini stepper i'm gonna do a whole new video and show y'all different equipment that i use on a mini stepper but for now i use these five pounders and it's been really really good like i feel it in my arms that my arms is tight and it's it's really interesting that you could like in a week i feel a difference like i feel a difference using a mini stepper and I feel like it was the best $63 that I invested in. I feel like $63 was so worth it. Even if it was $163, it still would have been worth it. I feel it. Like, I feel the difference. I'm also taking some stuff, which I'll share in another video that has been helping me also with um, excretion and really, like, bringing vitality to me. This week has been great and I'm motivated to do more stepping every day. I actually look forward to it because I don't overwork myself. So that is the first week of me having the mini stepper. And hopefully you join me on this page if you're interested in getting a mini stepper or if you just want to ride along with what I'm doing. I am here, this channel is for you. So that is it. For this video thank y'all so much for watching stay tuned for the next video where i'll go into um some equipment that i use while on a mini step or or at least that i'm trying because this is all experimenting like i am experimenting as i go and i'm very excited to see how everything is going to work out so stay tuned for more videos and welcome to the lazy and lock steps channel i'll see y'all in the next video